bait, hook, line and sinker. Well, just remember what the bait is and how long I can survive without it. I'm off to collect your amulet now. I told the lorry driver to leave it with one of the Morris dancers. I told him it was a prize gift for Mum. Well, just make sure that's the only surprise. And remember how long we've got. That's OK. Ten minutes bike there. Collect the parcel ten minutes back. Gives us a good leeway. Leeway? A margin of safety. We've got plenty of time. Providing nothing goes wrong. <laughs> brought on that profound remark. Jonah, I was about to play my latest video to him and he just up and went. A man of taste, perhaps. Mm, I did exactly the same the other evening, remember? Yes, but you're old-fashioned. <laughs> oh, yes, antediluvian, that's me. Where's Sean? He's up to left two on his bike. your time. Sean? Yes, Dad? I could do with some help. Coming! You'll be all right if I leave you. Why shouldn't I be? I wish you hadn't asked that. I'll be as quick as I can. Nip on your bike to West Electronics and get me one of these. But, Dad, I haven't got my bike. Well, take Zoe's. You know what she's like if I use this stuff? Doesn't usually stop you. Anyway, Zoe won't be back. Not until the judges have chosen the gala princess. Of course. I feel for the other contestants. It's an awful pity there can't be more than one gala princess. That's life, winners and losers. Perhaps I could have handmaidens. Do you think Zoe would like to be my chief handmaiden? If you can find her, you can ask her. Only I wouldn't advise it. Sorry, I'm late, Dad. West was closed. 
going right across town to Scott's. What the? Dad, I can't explain. Oh. Who got it? Who do you think? Kate. The creep. The committee's decision was quite impartial. Kate was the favourite. Okay, she was the favourite, and she won. But who do you think was first to congratulate her? Not us. We weren't there. That two-faced clown. Clown? Yes, Jonah. <laughs> Oh, yes, I can. Sean, Sean, what's she doing? Yes? You can help me with the chores. I'll just take up my coat. Look, yeah. leave them down here. You can start by packing this into the freezer. I'll be back for you as soon as I can. Curious, I'm curious. Of... So tell me, are you going to be hanging around here all day? No, and neither are you. Look, you can put that article through the word processor. Hello. Greetings, Tom. Morning, Mr. Carrington. Greetings, I uh, uh, don't let me distract you from the good work. Huh? Wish I could get my idle offspring to show an interest in my estate agency. How do you manage it? Carrot and stick? Oh, neither. Given the opportunity, sir, he would be running the paper by now. The chance to be a fine thing. Huh. Enough of the civilities. It would appear, Tom, we've got a bit of a problem. Anything I can do to help? My spies tell me that you've accepted an article submitted by Stanley Powell. David Bellamy of Axon. <laughs> Attacking the development in Hinkley Chase. Is that true? Hmm. Powell's subbing it now. I agree with Mr. Powell. We need to protect our nature reserves. Zoe, um, why don't you input those graphics? You said there was a problem. Powell's a troublemaker, Tom. I take it your estate agency is involved in a development project? Not financially. Can't be. I chair the planning committee. We're looking on the scheme favourably. I see. My advice to you is uh, not to publish. Is this an official request? No. Personal. And if I refuse? I shall be, regretfully, compelled to withdraw my adverts. Powell has written a reasoned article. I'm perfectly willing to offer you equal space. The double-page spread I buy each week is all the space I need. Can I take it? We see eye to eye. I'm afraid not. Subject to the usual restraints of LIBOR, Powell's article will be in next week's issue. Not a wise decision, Mr. Ruddock. I'll cancel in writing. Maybe you're forgetting. As president of the House Agents Association, I'm not without influence. £3,065. Come again? The Hackston Estate Agency's quarterly bill. Thank you, Zoe. That's all I needed to hear. Dad's in a mood. Why? Because bankruptcy means, little brother. Bankruptcy. What are you on about? 
Nothing that concerns the junior member of the family. Do you want something? Yeah, my badge. Have you got it? What a question. But what about an answer? Look for yourself. I'm not going to ask for an apology. Long experience has taught me that would be futile. What I do ask is to be left alone and carry on with my work. Anywhere interesting? Sorry? From the look on your face, I'd say you weren't in this yard. Or on this planet, even. What's that stuck to your back? What? No prizes for guessing who put it there. Her idea of a big joke. And, of course, you'd never do the same. Here, catch. Oh, black holes and quasars. Being boiled alive isn't exactly my idea of an adventure. Seeing you cook with the potatoes wouldn't exactly thrill me either. It's not what I expected when I came to Earth. Well, what did you expect? To enjoy myself. Of all the species in the universe, the humans seemed the most fun. We did? Oh, yes. Ever since I learned about them, I wanted to visit Earth. How did you get to Earth? You really want to know? Yes. Yeah. Well, it's quite simple. I was experimenting with the astral chronograph in the Outer Bounds Atelier of Cosmography when my planet came into celestial conjunction with Earth. A corridor of galactic entrance opened up, and here I am. Ask a silly question, get a silly... I can't win with you, can I? If I don't answer, I'm wrong. If I do answer, I'm wrong. Perhaps Zoe's got a point. Pity I wasn't discovered by her. If Zoe discovered you, she'd publish. You'd be headline news by now. I can see the headline. Back to front, Eid Alien visits Earth, a Zoe Ruddock exclusive. Come to that, it'd put Haxton Weekly on the map. That reminds me. I've been meaning to ask, what's bankruptcy? It means you're broke. In bits and pieces? No, broke because you have no money. Those tiny sheets of paper your mother got from the machine. They're the ones, and if you run out, mega disaster. What's mega disaster? You really want to know? Yes. Right, quite simple, really. My dad was working for a national when he was made redundant, which meant he was given the golden handshake. Golden handshake? Don't interrupt. I didn't. He invested a lump sum from the golden handshake in setting up the Haxton Weekly, which he will lose if we go broke. Satisfied? No. Hard luck. I'm going to have a bath, and there's no way I want your company when I'm doing that. How serious is it? Could be make or break. We're losing 3,065 a quarter. All because of the Stanley Powell article opposing development at Hinkley Chase? Yes. Oh. If we're to survive, we've got to fill Carrington's advertising space. Oh.